franchises that fall into obscurity are some of the hidden gems we overlook. Aside from Gex or even Earthworm Jim, Croc is a decent platformer. Sure, it has its flaws, but the franchise holds some of the rarest items not many are even aware of. If you've watched my obscure video game plushes video, then you'll be familiar with the Croc plush. Watch it if you want more info on it, but for now, we'll be looking at the other various items Croc has to offer. Croc, Legend of the Gobbos, made its debut in 1997 for the Sony PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and PC. It received mixed reviews, probably due to its tank controls, but I'm no game reviewer. Anyway, guides for American, Japanese, and Italian gamers were made with their respective languages, each having a distinct cover. America has the standard box art, while Japan and Italy tried something new to make their guides stand out. Saturn Power Magazine featured two croc posters, one with the box art and the other with a render of croc holding a gobbo. Posters like these aren't cheap these days. Seriously, they can go for about 30 bucks. Why? Back in late 1997, Argonaut sponsored a mail-in contest held by Ziff Davis Incorporated to help promote the first croc game. The contest pictured to the right was featured in Ziff Davis' game magazines like Electronic Game Monthly in late 1997. To enter the contest, you had to mail in a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to their sweepstakes department. One grand prize winner received a sued wool embroidered limited edition jacket, one leather croc backpack, one croc Legend of Gavis game, one croc t-shirt, and one croc hat. Five first prize winners received one croc Legend of Gavis game on the console of their choice, either PlayStation or Saturn, and one leather croc backpack. Fifteen second prize winners received one croc t-shirt and one croc hat. Winners were decided by a random drawing held on December 1st, 1997. Winners were notified by mail and telephone. Box Interactive also held a contest with similar prizes. To win, people had to answer the question, what's in Croc's backpack? There was one grand prize winner, one first place winner, and 20 second place winners. Prizes included the same wool and board limited edition jacket, the same the Croc backpack, t-shirt, and hat. Much like the Agronaut contest. Well, no duh. Sadly, some of the items from these contests cannot be found anywhere online. The Croc Fan Wiki is on the hunt for these items, and special thanks to them for the info on these contests. In Japan, Croc got a phone card themed after him along with some stickers. It's debatable whether these stickers came in the Japanese guide or were sold separately. Staying on topic of Japan, they got this little promo that appears to be a demo disc you can get for free at a local game store. So if you liked what you played and want more, you can go back and purchase the full game. What's even better than a demo disc is an early prototype of the game. Inside this disc is an early build of Croc Legend of the Gobbos, straight from Fox Interactive. This ad from the US is an eye catcher. Famous video game platformer's items surround Croc as he's picking his teeth. What could that mean? Well, the 90s were all over that fad. I guess they wanted Croc to gobbo the competition. Okay, I'll see myself out. Last item for the first game is this crystal. It appears to be small and shiny. Where and how he got this little gem is unknown. It could have been a pre-order bonus in a certain store, a prize, something you would get in a giveaway. The possibilities are endless. Croc 2 released in June of 1999 for the Sony PlayStation, Game Boy Color, and Microsoft Windows. Like its predecessor, it got mixed reviews and with the likes of Crash Team Racing, Donkey Kong 64, Super Smash Bros, Rayman 2, Spyro 2, and Gex 3 released in the same year, Croc didn't stand a chance. Thus, he never got a third game. But he did get a trilogy of games from a series called Croc's World, which didn't spike too much interest or any merchandise. What a shame. But Croc 2 most certainly has merch, duh! Prima published a strategy guide for the game featuring a box art for the cover. These were found wherever games were sold. In an issue of a magazine called Click, there was a free poster of Croc 2's box art. Same goes for a German PlayStation magazine, but this one has a different logo. It really doesn't suit the poster well in my opinion. Inside the Game Boy Color version of Croc, you got, yep, 
another poster of the box art. Still a little nice freebie. And PlayStation Max, Screen Fun, and Neo Magazines, we've got a poster of Croc jumping over lava. PlayStation Max version is exceptionally interesting as it advertises The Legend of Spyro the Eternal Night for the Nintendo DS, which didn't release until 2007. The same magazine also had a poster of Croc swimming along with PlayStation Games Magazine, probably my favorite of the bunch. Like all video games, they have magazine ads to showcase what the game looks like and what to expect. Croc 2 got an ad in a gaming magazine. Sadly, I don't know which one, but it's still cool seeing Croc in the game. A common yet cute promo is this Croc 2 frisbee. These were so common, in fact, that some owners of the item turned them into clocks. I guess they aren't so common now, huh? This, along with a lunchbox, yo-yo, watch, t-shirt, keyring, rucksack, and beanie toy were won in the contest. Dubbed Crux Away! A competition that was held in a UK newspaper called The Mirror on August 14, 1999. To win, people had to phone a number and name Crocs arch enemy. That is something I would have entered in a heartbeat. All of these items are scarce. Sadly, I cannot find photos of the rucksack, keyring, or t-shirt. If you happen to own them, send photos of them to the Croc fan wiki. Only a handful of games get their own memory card, and Croc was lucky enough to get one themed after a second game. You can change characters in the circle to whoever you want. Pretty cool. But you want to know what's cooler? According to Fort Willie on the Croc fan boards, they stated that there was believed to be a set of Croc action figures. My guess is that Resaurus had plans to make some, but they of course met their demise shortly after 1999. But that's just a theory! A game theory! And I'm getting sued! While he wasn't a critically acclaimed platformer, Croc is still regarded as beloved and fun by his fans. He was originally going to be Yoshi in the platformer, but was turned into a new IP. Was it worth it? To me? Heck yeah! And I'm hoping one day I'll get my hands on the Croc plush and show it to you guys. Sadly, the chances of that happening are slim, along with a potential remaster or Croc 3. Regardless, Croc will be remembered as an important member of video game history. Anyway, guides for American, Japanese, and Italian gamers were made by the the <laughs> man. This is what I get for recording in the morning. One grandpa prize. What am I? One of those seals from a hat in time? Miss. One grand prize winner will receive a sort of one. Gosh, why am I doing this to myself? Five grand prize- Grand? No, five first! Jeez, can you not read? Winners were notified by a ma- By a mail? By a mail? By a mail? What the heck is that supposed to mean? It's debatable whether these stickers came in a Japanese magazine. Guide! Not magazine! Famous video game platformers items surround croc- Croc? Oh my gosh, I've cut the seal the deal lingo thing. And I haven't played a hat in time in ages. While he wasn't <coughs> Oh man, I hate this weather.